So what I really want to do is to be able to identify new treatments for my patients and also have an understanding of what treatment to use when. And in order to do that, we need work such as we've, we've put together to really understand where these tumours come from, what makes them tick, and we hope in the future will lead to new models Ours is truly an international collaboration among um, researchers at the University of California, San Francisco, the Broad Institute, and the University of College London. Um, I'm the PI at UC San Francisco, Matthew Meyerson is a PI at the Broad, and Christy Thurwell is a PI at the University of College London. This work is important because if we're going to be able to cure a cancer, we first need to understand its causes, and we want to understand the causes of small intestinal neuroendocrine tumors. When you look at um, uh, SI nets, you can often find multiple pea-sized tumors along a two-foot stretch of intestine. So there's not one tumor, but there's multiple tumors. These multifocal tumors are in fact polyclonal or unique. That is, each tumor is genetically and epigenetically unique. And so we'll be looking at these multifocal tumors to answer some really pivotal and basic questions about where uh, SI nets come from. Basically what we're trying to do is figure out are there any genetic or potentially environmental causes such as epigenetic and or infectious causes that are leading to the formation of these tumors in our patients. And then we're going to be studying single cells, and this will be at the Broad, again, using state-of-the-art technology to try and identify what these precursor lesions are, and uh, in our world, identify the cell of origin, because that's key for us in finding new models with which to study the disease. That's why this project has been funded, so we can actually reach a point where we can use these models to understand better uh, what is going wrong within cells. Once we have an idea what is going wrong and have some um, models in place, then the next step would be to test different drugs, existing drugs, or to screen different libraries of drugs and find new drugs. And funding opportunities like this are very rare. And I would say in my working lifetime, this is the first time that such funds have been put towards studying your endocrine tumors. So it's a, it's a fantastic opportunity. Simply said, without the funding from the NRF, a project like this would simply not be funded. And I think this is the significant hurdles that many scientists and physician scientists face is getting support for very noteworthy research that um, really couldn't be funded any other way.